The fall of America's most respected military leader began with the FBI digging into an anonymous Gmail account. If they then read through Paula Broadwell's emails, they likely did it without a judge's approval. Law enforcement agencies can look through our data, including email, without a warrant. Chris Calabrese from the ACLU is here to talk about what the law says and how it might change. Chris, good to have you here. Thanks for having me. So why don't law enforcement officials need a warrant when they want to dig through email? Well, the short answer is that the law is really old and out of date. I mean, the Electronic Communications Privacy Act, ECPA, was passed in 1986 and has not been substantially updated since then. So what do they have to do, if anything? Well, you know, it's so old that, you know, it's, so there's actually a lot of confusion about that relatively simple question. Most courts in, have agreed that for the first 180 days, the first six months, you need to get a warrant. But then after that, a warrant is something you have to take to the judge and you need, you know, probable cause. It's the standard they, they, need, they need to search your house. But after that, they can get the information with a subpoena. So they simply write a, essentially a letter asking for it. No judge ever sees it. So they can, just the, the agent themselves can say, this is for a legitimate this purpose? Is, yeah, this is relevant to my investigation. Please hand it over. So practically, what do we know about where our data is, who has access to it, and whether it varies from company to company? Well, practically, what we know is that if it's held by a third party, which is to say almost everything on the Internet is held by a Google or a Yahoo or a Facebook, if that happens, then if it's an email and it's less than 180 days, it probably has pretty decent protection. If it's older, it doesn't. And if it's anything else private, so if it's like a Google Doc or your photos held by Facebook, it also has a very low level of protection. The law could change on this. What's that... Well, right now there's an amendment in front of a, that Senator Leahy, who's the Senate Judiciary Committee chairman, has an amendment in front of his committee, which would essentially say that all content held by a third party requires a warrant, all private content. So if it's your emails, if it's your, you know, your Google documents, your photos, anything that you're keeping private that's sort of the content of your communications, that can only be accessed with a warrant. And you know, that's something that he'd like to get done. I don't know if it'll get done before the, the end of this very short congressional session, but it's certainly something he's pushing. And the change would then be the, the six-month change? It would make everything? Right. It would be the six-month change, so all your email, no matter how old, you'd need a warrant. A judge would essentially have to approve and say it's appropriate law enforcement for you to look at this. But it's not just that. I mean, many days, especially if you're a big company, you've outsourced, actually, your document control, and it's being held by a third party. Right now, that doesn't have the same protections as it would if you held it. So they're pushing this change as well. What do you do with your email? You know, it's a good question. I actually do most of my email on the ACLU servers, which are held by the ACLU and hence have a little more protection. You know, we're, you shouldn't have to do that. The bottom line is you should be able to enjoy these technologies without worrying that you're losing all your rights to do so. And, and you think this law that Leahy's trying to pass would be that change? I think it's, it's an important change. And there's a lot of other things that we can do. I mean, we, location privacy. Our cell phones are tracking us all the time. Congress hasn't grappled with that issue, for example. Another main thing in this investigation was the records. It wasn't just the content of the emails. They used records generated by those emails to track him down. You know, that stuff is becoming increasingly sensitive, those records. We haven't grappled with that either. So there's a lot of terrain here that needs to be covered. Okay. Chris, thanks for uh, Thank giving you. us a picture of some of that terrain. Sure. It was really good to talk to you. Thanks.